Welcome to Size TV, a show about all things big and small. It's a game of trivia that looks at the extremes from around the world, and you can play along. All work and no play makes the world a dull place. What's your pleasure when it's time to unwind? Try some of these on for size. Which of these is the largest shopping mall? Mall of America? West Edmonton Mall? Or Danbury Fair Mall? Many people think of the Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota as being the biggest mall in the world. No doubt it's an impressive facility, but it's actually the biggest mall in the United States. The biggest mall in the world is West Edmonton Mall, located in Alberta, Canada. West Edmonton Mall is the largest shopping mall in the world. Inside, you'll find the largest indoor roller coaster, the largest indoor wave pool, the largest indoor bungee jump, and the world's largest indoor lake. I'm Kim, and you're at the world's largest indoor wave pool. The Wave Pool is a two hectare park featuring 23 slides and attractions. You can swim, you can float on tubes, you can sunbathe, you can do whatever you want. And then every once in a while we sound the horn and the waves start to come. And that's always a really fun thing. People love going and bouncing on the waves and, and just floating and enjoying that. You know, they'll sit out there just waiting for the waves to start. So as soon as that horn goes, you hear a big cheer from everybody and, and there's lots of excitement. The blue slide that you can see over there behind me as well is one of our really fun rides. It's called Tropical Typhoon and what it is is you go down the slide and then you end up in a funnel type apparatus which you spin around and then at the end it drops you through a hole in the bottom into a large pool and it's definitely one of our most fun rides. Another feature to the water park is something you don't see indoors every day. Hi, I'm Steve and this is the world's tallest freestanding indoor bungee jump. We have a bungee tower here because why not? I mean, it's just one more thing that we can do and I know the motto of our management team is always let's do what people think we can't do. So we're always looking to bring in anything and everything that people might have fun with that would be unique and definitely the bungee jumping just adds to that experience. Definitely people who have bungee jumped before love to come here and do it. Not only are you in kind of a really cool environment, but it's the tallest indoor bungee jump in the world, so it gives you a chance to, you know, bungee jump to the ultimate extreme. When you're finished in the water park, there's more fun to be had at Galaxy Land Amusement Park, where you're sure to find excitement for all ages. We're inside the world's biggest indoor amusement park. <laughs> Galaxy Land features more than 25 rides and games, including the Mindbender. Hi, I'm Corey, and this is the biggest indoor three loop roller coaster in the world. The Mindbender is a 14-story triple-loop roller coaster and is one of the biggest draws for thrill-seekers visiting the mall. She rode it with her eyes closed. <laughs> I didn't open my eyes the entire time. I kept time. looking at her and she looked like she was just in a peaceful, happy place. <laughs> the Mindbender is definitely our most popular ride. Its tallest point is actually just shorter than the Statue of Liberty and it's also the equivalent of about 48 blue whales lying end to end. That's how long all the track is. And it's famous around the world as one of the most exciting roller coasters that you'll ever go on.
the roller coaster is my favorite. I went, uh, I think it was 52 times in a row in one day. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's always exciting here. It's always a lot of fun. But the largest mall in the world has even more large things to offer. Right now we are standing in front of the world's largest indoor lake, which is home to our deep sea adventure, Sea Lions Rock and the Santa Maria ship, which is an exact replica of Christopher Columbus's famous ship. West Edmonton Mall also holds title as an accredited zoo. Sea Life Caverns is another really cool interactive feature for people. You get a chance to see a lot of marine life. We're a member of CASA, which is the Canadian Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which we're very proud of because that's a huge standard to meet, um, just to show the extent of care that we are able to provide for the, the animals and the various sea life that we have here. Sea Life Caverns features more than 200 species of marine life and many underwater attractions. We also have a whole bunch of different varieties of fish and different water animals. So whenever you're on the submarine ride or taking a walk around, you have the opportunity to see all kinds of fish and wildlife. West Edmonton Mall, home to the world's biggest indoor lake, roller coaster, amusement park, bungee jump, and water park, all inside the world's biggest shopping mall. Our motto here is the greatest indoor show on earth and that's what we always try and do. So whatever it is, we're looking at new and exciting activities. We always want to create a unique experience for people. So anything that's out there, we're looking at it. Where is the world's tallest outdoor roller coaster? Six Flags Great Adventure? Walt Disney World? Or Paramount Canada's Wonderland? Six Flags Great Adventure in Jacksonville, New Jersey is home to the tallest outdoor roller coaster in the world. Riders move up to a speed of 128 miles per hour before catapulting a mind-blowing 45 stories. Thrills can also come in small packages discovered in a world of fantasy. Welcome to Miniature World, often dubbed the greatest little show on Earth, located in Victoria, BC, Canada. When you first arrive here, you find a whole new world, only smaller. Miniature World is a vast collection of models, uh, mainly in dioramas or displays, uh, which have been created over about a 30-year period, um, originally envisioned by the owner as a a collection of miniature worlds. Peter builds and maintains the exhibits at Miniature World. There are over 80 exciting displays, including the wonderful world of the circus, dollhouses, old London town, this is Buckingham Palace here, and out front we have the uh, Queen Victoria's Monument. And the Enchanted Valley of the Castles. It's something special. It, this, you can tell someone's spent a lot of time putting this together. It's just amazing. It's really good. My favorite display is Circus World. There's so much going on in that one, and uh, I've seen it for so many years, and I still see something I've missed in that one. Probably the World War II displays with the, uh, the tanks, and just the, the battles. It's just very realistic, all the buildings tumbling down. Miniature World is also home to the world's smallest operating sawmill. This is the lumber that was actually sawn by this little mill. 
The mill takes a, a miniature log and puts it through the log to lumber story with two by fours, two by tens, two by eights, and they're all in perfect scale. The world's smallest operating sawmill performs all the functions of a real mill. Its visual and mechanical accuracy scales the lumber at a rate of one inch to the foot. Different scales, different materials, it is always interesting, and it is just different. Yes, yeah, it's crazy. 